All right. Good morning. Welcome back, everybody, on this lovely Monday. Hopefully, everybody had a great weekend. Welcome back to the morning meeting here at Cybertree University. Great news over the weekend. Mindora, you probably heard about it. Menor, whatever you want to call it. Mandara, whatever it is. <laughs> the company came out with great announcement regarding about COVID-19. Uh, COVID, COVID I got it. I think it's a little too early. I mean, I had a little too much coffee. But, uh, but we're having a nice little run with, with a nice little stock right here. And this is making a huge change up in the whole market. We're getting a nice little rally. We're up about we were just almost at 30,000. And uh, we're up about 450 right now. But I always say buy on rumor, sell on news. Remember what happened last Monday? We had the same exact news what happened with Fiserv. Fiserv came out. Mark was up like, oh, what, almost like 1,200 points because of it. Great rally. We're right back to where we started on the Dow. And now we're going to end uh Kind of get me a little nervous. We have to break that 30 price range, 30,000 on the Dow. And I know the SP is also testing right around there, too. But a lot of stocks are getting crushed by it. A lot of stocks are benefiting from it. I told you this last week. I'm personally still, I'm not completely sold in the market in general uh, yet. I want to see it kind of build some stability here. But um, but all this news coming out with all these uh, these vaccines are actually really helping the market out a lot. Uh, now I think I think you know if if everything works out, I think now we have to focus on what's going to happen in Georgia on the election because the transfer of power, uh, because that will be a huge uh, sway on where the market's going to move regarding about certain industries are going to benefit. Some of them are going to get destroyed. But there's a lot of good stocks. I can't wait to talk about it. There's crew stocks, the airline stocks. A couple other ones that are moving. But before we do that, uh, just remember, guys, we've got a really busy week for you this week. Uh, we got Tom Sosnor from Tasty Works, founder of Thinkorswim. That's coming, going to be here tomorrow here at Cybertrain University on Closing Bell. And we're looking forward to talk to him about this. It's going to be a great, great uh, interview that we're going to have with him. You're going to have a great hour to talk with him tomorrow at 415 after the market closes. Also, the, uh, this week is the new cycle of the Cybertrain University courses. All the students here uh, look forward to seeing. We're going to start at 1030. So make sure you have your registration. Everything's taken care of. Looking forward to seeing you there. But before we get all, all, in, all into that, let's get right into the market and talk about what's happening right now and what happened last week. But before we go through the watch list, just want to talk about what happened yesterday because last week was pretty cool. We had a pretty good week last week. And a couple of them just obviously had some really nice runs up, run ups. Just change these, these so you can see a little bit further. So we had the stock solo. It did really, really well. Uh, you could see it was a three dollar stock. It turned to become a day trade, became more of a swing trade. Stock obviously still holding pretty strong. Went almost high as eight dollars. Great, great winner. Solo was a, a fun stock. Ne Neo, my, oh my god, this thing was just an animal. Stock has been a big, big, great swing trade. But listen, I told you this on Friday. What scares me about Neo is the same thing would happen with Pinterest. When you start getting a stock that is basically, you know, going up that fast, that's scary. You don't want to be in a stock that goes up that quickly because it come down just as quickly. So remember, we were watching the stock. It went from like twenty dollars, went over to fifty. Look what happened on Friday. Went from fifty four, boom, straight down to forty one. So you know, it's kind of gets you a little nervous. Li was also another one, fast mover. You could see it, it was a great stock all week last week. We watched the stock go from twenty two to forty. Okay, look what it did. Doing 41, went down to 30, down $10. Remember, whatever goes up comes down twice as fast. Okay. So uh what do we have XPEV was another one that we had that got was a fast run up to. Look at this thing. $20 to 50. Great week of stock last week. You know, then Friday, you know, eventually people were like, eh, you know, maybe it's time to get out of it. So anyway, a lot of good stocks. Um uh, that were great shorts, a couple of good winners. We had EV, did really well last week. And uh, what else we had? Uh, what else we had? What was it? Uh, I want to bring CBAT. Because CBAT did pretty well. And it's actually in this morning's watch list. But that stock also, you could see, had a big, big run up in the beginning of September. Thing ran from a dollar to $5. A little bit of a shake. Now ran to highs, eight fifty. We had one more last push the last couple of days. So, and it did it on Friday. And it's, and it's continuing today. So, we're going to put that back on the watch list. Now, what's going on this morning? A lot of good stocks that are moving. And, you know, I'm just going to go back to Menor, uh, Menor, or Menorah, whatever you want to call it. You could see what happened here in the morning. It's really kind of just flatline. You see how the stock just went up. 
went from 90 to 104 104 great swing trade stock you could see it and let me tell you something they knew the news was out look what happened you know the last five days the stock has been on it was at 70 took a little bit of a hit look where it is it went from 70 80 85 90 and look where it is now so there's a lot of profit taking going on stock is obviously doing pretty well now 95 percent success rate is pretty damn high now remember there's a couple other ones that are coming out too so i know there's a little basket of those uh, you know the, these stocks right here with the vaccine are actually are all profit uh, benefiting from it and let me tell you these guys can make a lot of money on that stuff remember it's just not the united states it's the whole world all right now a couple of the stocks um yeah norm we're going to check that out with the airlines too I mean, you just pointed out in the cyber group room that American Airlines is obviously taking a hit. A couple other stocks. I want to work on. The, I want to work on the B list, and then I'll go on the A list. Let's start with the B list, okay? So there are a couple of stocks on the B list, which is you know that we're we're gapped up this morning, but they kind of flatline. Here you got A T H E. You could see it's up about one hundred twenty-seven percent stock we've traded it uh, back in august it ran from three to five it was a short squeeze came right back down it's hovering right around the september highs right there it is a little bit of an algo stock 6.3 million shares already trading in pre-market you could see over there under the level three there's some big orders everywhere so it's gonna be kind of hard to trade it takes a lot to move the stock but we know the stock can move and we know it's a pharmaceutical stock so i want to keep a close eye on it you saw what happened last week. We traded a couple of stocks, and all of a sudden, they didn't do anything. We, they were on the B list, and all of a sudden, those B lists were on the A list, and they were on the top of the list. So that's why you you can't underestimate some of these stocks. Sometimes these these, these traders hold these shares until the market opens up because they're like, mm, like tita tati, and then all of a sudden, they kind of pick a direction. IDEX, another stock that we traded in the past, great stock, $0.50 cents to three, uh, went to almost $4, great swing trade. Phenomenal day trade. She's gapped up this morning, 3.8 million shares, 19%. Great spread, cheap stock, nice, comfortable, level one stock for all you beginners out there. INO, another one, pharmaceutical stock that's moving, that's gapped up about 13%, 2.1 million shares. This one, if you look on the right, you got a nice little iceberg order right now for about, uh, was it 12, 1270 right there? That's not too bad. Let me draw this up for you so you guys could see it. You see this guy right here? Not bad. He's probably making that. That's basically what's holding it right here, right there. So that one's that one's pretty cool. I like that one. Going to keep an eye on that one too. All right. What else we got going on here? We got, uh, oh, BBVA. Can't forget that one. So BBVA, VA, to me, it, it moved. I don't know. It looks like a buyout to me. All right. So without even looking at the news, without looking at anything, just when you see a stock trend like that, if you need to look at the news, go right ahead. But usually that's what comes up to be a buyout. CNK is another one that's moving to also this morning. Rem, this is all the B list, not the A list, okay? These are the people that are going to be on the wedding list. If the people on my A list don't want to come, I'll go to the B list. CNK, another nice little stock. Nice little trends up a little bit. Um, I like I like the tier sizes. You got six thousand shares, seven thousand shares, sixty nine thousand at fifteen thirty. Kind of shows that resistance levels. Can see some decent support. No real big buyers there, though. But like I said, it's it's up. I want to keep an eye on it. Let's hop over um, on the on the uh, on the A list. Now I know a couple of you are shooting some stocks out there, uh, Michael and Deborah. We're gonna check those stocks out. You know, I was actually just talking to Josh this morning about Riot. Uh, R I O T. It's actually, you know, it's coming out with uh, earnings tomorrow, right? I think I, that that's what me and Josh were talking about. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on this stock, R you know, for tomorrow. But uh, yeah, she just had a nice little decent pop. I think uh, 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 Bitcoin's been doing pretty well, so we're gonna keep a close eye on that. All right, so we got Menorah. We know about that. HPR is another one that's moving pretty well right here. I might throw her back on the B list. You can see she started dwindling down. She gapped up pretty big, up 16%. Not too many iceberg orders out there. A little, be a little cautious on that one. AHT is another one that made the watch list. 21%, 1.3 million, uh, one, uh, 1 million shares. Uh, 
it's got some decent resistance levels right here you can see it right there not really too many iceberg orders out there that i'm seeing amc remember that one blast from the class we actually had a lot of fun with this stock right here so you know nice mover she's got a good spread she does get some volatility sometimes so go back to your journals hopefully the way we taught you in class you always monitor these stocks i tell you all the time you're gonna trade them again and you know what if they were tradable then they're gonna be tradable in the future they always come out with news okay and at least you know they're gonna come out with news at least every three months because of earnings but keep an eye on that one mitt Another one, MITT. This one up 7%. Good. Uh, I don't know, I'm throwing this back on my B list. I was going to put it on an A. It's going back on my B. I'm scratch that. All right. Airlines. Okay. So they all did pretty well. Airlines, crew stocks. I told you. I'm a long term player on the airlines. Um, listen, I can see them going. We're going to get through this vaccine. Okay. We're going to get through this this, this, this um, silent killer. Okay. The silent. The, this, 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 this invisible war, we're calling it, okay? This virus. So, I mean, eventually you're going to come back. Unless you think Delta's going out of business, all right, then it's going out of business. But um, it's doing pretty, you know, like I said, I was a big fan of it back in July. I was a huge fan of it when it was back, when it got crushed. I actually lost money on the stock. I was actually, uh, I bought the stock at 42. And I, no, I'm sorry, I bought it at we have 42 and then I sold it at 38. Good thing I did because I saw it at 60. And um and then uh and then obviously you can see how it came back in July. So I own the stock right around like 31, I think. That's where I pretty much own it, right? But I even bought I, I bought this for long term. This is not more of a day trade. US government won't allow major airlines uh to fail. That's right, Wayne, they won't. Listen, you've got too many employees, and you know, people have to eventually try. And you know what? Wayne, it's it, it, Honestly, I think I heard it's a um, you can't let them fail because it's a national security. You know, that's a national security type of thing of an airline. You know, what else with transportation you have? OK, so that's really what it comes down to it. There's always national security things you got to be you got to know about. So Delta's doing well. JetBlue. You just go down the list, but they were doing pretty good this morning. It was all about the news on the vaccine. A.L. They were actually pretty fun to trade on Friday. Then all of a sudden they backed off. Saves another one. You can see how they all all up pretty decent, but they're starting to back off. And cruise stocks also. Cruise stocks are starting to, you know, uh, Royal Caribbean did pretty decent. Look, it went up to almost high as 80, came back a little bit, went as high as 77. Ugh, what else we got here? Uh, Norwegian Cruise Line, that one too. CCL, Carnival Cruise Line. And you know what's, you know what's going to get really hurt in this whole market? Who really gets hurt? High te high tech stocks. Okay. Look at Wayfair. Okay, Wayfair was probably one of the best movers due to the coronavirus, and this stock went from forty all the way to about almost four hundred. She took a big hit now. All right. By the way, I'm actually becoming more of a fan of Wayfair than Amazon. AMZN taking a little bit of a hit. Look at just I, I just want you to look at. Look at Amazon in, since July, okay? July, August, September, October, November. Four months. Where did it go? Nowhere. It's been sitting here. That's not a really good sign. But it's really, really not a good sign to see that. Zoom. Listen, we made a lot of money on Zoom, okay? Once everything goes back together, who's going to get hurt the most? zoom okay because eventually these kids when they go back to school they're gonna work something out uh wick another one i mean all these high-tech stocks are really gonna take in hits i didn't see too much with facebook and i didn't see too much with um with twitter and google and all them even microsoft microsoft i got to admit though i would keep a close eye on it microsoft came out with the new xbox 10 you can't buy it anywhere okay if you guys know where I could buy one, please. My kids want to know. I mean, here we go. Here's the Christmas frenzy. Microsoft got the new ones, got that the Xbox 10. So um, that's the next biggest thing. So hopefully they're going to make a lot of money on it. Bezos sold over a billion uh, worth of his shares recently. Uh, David, why would you not? Why would you not sell a billion dollars? I mean, like, first of all, what do you, what do you, this is a dumb question. What are you going to do with all that money? You know, I think his ex-wife, his ex 
walked away with like, I don't know, 40 billion and he's fighting. I'm like, well, what, are you, what are you gonna do? You're worth oh, 200 billion. What the hell is one? I mean, seriously, what exactly do you do, do with all that money? You know what I'm saying? Be very fortunate. I'll tell you a great Cinderella story. You know, a guy was, you know, an immigrant, you know, basically, I think he came from Cuba, I'm almost positive. I mean, he, I mean, I was watching, I, I was listening a little bit about him. Um, sound like he came into money. I always like stories like that. You know, some, type, some people might hate his guts, whatever it is. I just look, I don't look at that. What they, I look at how somebody always progressed. And, you know, it's a pretty good Cinderella story. Um, you could buy a country. You're right, Michael. <laughs> you really could. Plus, what is your thoughts on Nikola? I still have it, George. I still have it. Nikola's doing pretty decent. This is down a little bit, but Nikola, I, I, I don't know. I mean, listen, look at that chart. So I think the news came out that Kramer uh, said he's more of a fan. You know, Kramer on, on CNBC said he was more fan of hydrogen. Honestly, I'm more of a fan of, I'm a hydrogen fan more than electric fan. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I, hydrogen, you know, if you, if you, H2O, if you look at water, if you convert water into hydrogen, you mean like, I think hydrogen, we got plenty of that going around. I think hydro, hydrogen's better than electric. I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't know, it's just my thoughts on it. But I know that a lot of these gas companies were trying to get rid of hydrogen because they didn't want to step into their oil market. But but I mean, if they start making hydrogen cars, I could see something be, I can see definitely be the future. And and who else? And I think there's another stock. It was it F-Cell? I think F-Cell is the company. I think it's, I don't know if it's F-Cell or one of them actually makes the actual, um, the, 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 the energy plants. I think it's F-Cell almost. Is it F-Cell, Greg? Yeah. So, I mean... Let's see how it goes out, but I'm still holding on to it. You know, we want to write support levels anyway. All right, guys. So listen, let's get back to markets. We open up in less than 15 minutes. Let's go reboot. Let's go get our coffees. Let's go hit the restrooms. Let's get ready for the open. Just keep in mind, today is Monday. So do not get too cocky. And also with Monday, let me just bring this up so everybody can see it here. In the, um, I know you guys could see it in the cyber group room, but people on YouTube, Facebook Live cannot see it. So don't forget, we got open house back on Thursday. We got my my good friend Tom uh, Tom Sosnoff that's coming on tomorrow and closing bell. We'll put the link in there. Please register for it. This is your opportunity to talk to you know. You can ask any questions. I am going to send a bulk email uh, to everybody to register. And if you answer me back, I'm going to pick some of your questions to ask him. And uh, he he's the most opened. He's the most friendly. He's the most you know. Uh, knowledgeable guy that I met in the industry and we have a great relationship. I look forward to ha having him on, but we always have him uh, here every few months. And uh, if you want to know how to, what the market's going to do, here's your opportunity. Don't miss that opportunity. Right guys. Good luck. Happy trading. We'll see you. In, and and also don't forget phase one classes start today at 10 30. So gold platinum students and bronze, silver and gold 